Yo, what's going on guys? Hexmurder here. I've seen a lot of people lately asking uh, how to find entity lists or player objects or whatever you like to call them. Um, so I'm just using uh, World at War Zombies. It's a game probably a lot of people have. It's cheap, it's like 10 bucks on Steam. So, uh, first things first, we're going to look for the health value of the zombies. So we can do an unknown initial value. Decreased value. And uh, World of War also has these lovely commands, so now I won't die. I can test in peace. Decreased value again. So I'm just going to guess that it's this one, 84, out of what I see here. And we can test that really quick by setting this to like 1000. And as you can see, he does not die. So, uh, we definitely have the right health value. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this, see if we can find anything interesting. Oh, four byte decimal is what we're looking for. 699, 150. So I'm thinking 150 is probably uh, the initial health value. And if we scroll down, yeah. So 150, 150, this is another zombie. He has 150 health because I haven't shot any of the other zombies. So that's his current health, and this would be his max health. So you can go through here and find stuff if you like, but I'm going to save that for later once we have a pointer to it. So, um, next step, we can pointer scan for this address. Uh, I'm just going to use, I'm going to start with one level just because they're easier to work with if we can find one. Doesn't matter what you save it over. Uh, some games require two, three, four levels, but if you're lucky, they'll just require one. All right, so we got a couple of uh, pointers here. Hopefully you guys are familiar with pointers. If not, you're gonna watch this and you're gonna have a really hard time understanding what's going on. So um, if we look here, we have the name of the EXE or the module plus this address, which gives us 017A3EFO or whatever. Okay, this 1C8 is the offset to get to the health address. So this is the base of the zombie. This isn't some random address that the developers threw in there. This is the base, the zombie base address, plus 1C8, and that's what gives you the health. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just take all that, control A, copy, so without the 1C8, that would give us the base. So we'll just call this base. Hopefully, we're not sure yet because we haven't tested it. We're starting with the first pointer. So we'll just uh, go to the memory viewer again. Dissect data and structures. Find new structure, we'll call this test one. You can call it whatever you want. So if you look here, we have a lot of pointers. This one points to, you look here, the address 017A, really close in memory to where the first health address was. So let's open this up. And 1C8 is our health pointer. So we scroll down, or health offset, I should say. 1, 3, 4, B, C. So here it is, 699, 150. So we'll close that, that's our first zombie. Uh, let's see, this pointer is pointing to some random, pointing to something that we don't want. 1B, that's weird. Don't think that's what we're looking for. And it's not. So, get rid of 1B here. Okay, alright, here we go, another 017. Just like this one, they're really close to memory, so it's probably another zombie, we'll open it up. Scroll down. 1C8, there's another zombie. So that's just about it. Now we know that the pointer base address is this. We can use that in our own code. And we literally just say, okay, they're 88 bytes apart. So we would write to this address plus zero, this address plus 88. 